thank my wife and my three kids, my father-in-law and all of you guys for coming out tonight and supporting me and, and uh, listening to what we all have to say. And as a person that's been elected three times to public office, I would just like to say, you guys, it's an honorable thing you're doing. And we're all doing it. It's hard to find good public servants. One thing I want to say in closing is that I do not have any of the conflicts of interest that are occurring right now between the sheriff's office and the magistrate office. Anything that I do and anything that I have done has always made me a very effective magistrate when I was a magistrate before, when I was a mayor pro tem before, when I was a council member before, being a small business owner that I am now, and anything else that I ever put my sights on to try and do and be the best that I could be, I've always succeeded. I have a proven public service record that shows my abilities to make positive changes while saving taxpayers money. Again, I want to reiterate the fact of the taxes. The taxes in that one department has gone up 44% in four years. And one last thing I want to say is that I've seen something in the paper the other day that kind of bothered me a little bit, and I think it's important. The magistrate office is not supposed to be buddy buddies with the sheriff's department. It's not supposed to be buddy buddies with the DA's department. It's not supposed to be with the forest park, any of the departments. The magistrate office is the curtain between you guys and the law enforcement. That's what our job is, is to make that decision, that call between the citizens and law enforcement. That's what a magistrate judge is. Thank you.